This is Witchbase News for Friday the 7th of June 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week, the Xeno Strike Force is hosting a mass orbital drop event, FDEV implement more balance changes to the Thargoid war system and a new community gold duo this week is offering free ship skins to its top tier contributors. You know how this bit goes please like, subscribe and ding that little bell so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to directly help our work here at the Burr Pit you can also support us through Patreon. Links to that and everything else are in the description below. Commander Mechan, leader of the Xeno Strike Force wing of the Anti Xeno Initiative has an open call to join a special filming event tonight as I record these words. Unusually for the Xeno Strike Force the event doesn't in fact centre around the purging of the Xeno menace from within human occupied space but in fact is an attempt to capture the mass arrival of human piloted ships dropping from orbital glide. Mechan has created a video detailing exactly what you'll need and where you'll need to be to participate in the event which is happening at 1800 hours UTC today, shortly after this very video goes live. If successful the results of the capture will be featured in a special Xeno Strike Force video. If you want to attend you'll find Commander Mechan's video in the description below this one. And while we're discussing all things anti Xeno, in case you missed it there were some server side changes to the Thargoid war this week that went live with the Thursday Thargs Day server bounce. I've linked to the short and succinct patch notes below but the executive summary seems to be that actions taken in uninhabited alert systems that aren't orthrus hunting so stuff like escape pod recovery or interceptor hunting etc will have a significantly increased positive effect on the war progress and elsewhere basilisk, medusa and hydra and scout hunting have also received a boost in their effectiveness. FDEV seemingly keen to ensure that no matter what role you choose to take in the war combat or otherwise you can make a difference, particularly in what appears to be now its late stages. A new community goal went active in the game yesterday with the Thursday server tick, the first community goal in 2 months in fact. The last one ending on the 4th of April was centred around the delivery of Titan engine components to aid in the development of what we now know to be the SCO enabled frameshift drive. The CG is a two parter featuring the delivery of needed supplies on one half and the collection of bounty vouchers on the other. In both cases as well as the associated credit rewards the community goals will award the very smart duty counter paint job for participants that reach the 50% and the top 25% of contributions for the federal gunship and the federal corvette respectively. To get involved yourself deliver bounty vouchers or basic medicines, reactive armour and non lethal weapons or indeed all of the above if you fancy it to Dakamina station in the lush earther system. The goals will run through to the server bounce next Thursday if they don't meet their goals before. Will you be joining Commander Mechan's mass drop event? Are you fighting in the Thargoid war or will you be jumping into this weeks community goal to grab yourself a free paint job? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.